Fox Carolina Weather. Weather rate certified most accurate local forecast. We're about four hours away from the lunar eclipse. Ooh. It is the longest Ooh. partial lunar eclipse yeah. in 600 wow. years. Wow, wow, wow. So more than 97% of the moon's diameter will be covered by the Earth's Ooh. shadow. Experts like our chief meteorologist say the process <laughs> will last nearly three and a half hours. A lunar eclipse happens when the Earth passes between the, why am I reading this? Between the sun <laughs> we and love the moon when you casting a shadow over the moon. Oh, wow. Yeah, and Ooh, that's what really makes it wait. so incredible tonight. It's such a long process, yeah, but I these, never are, that. these aren't that uncommon, though, because we'll have another one in May. So it starts, what, at 2, but it peaks at 4, or it starts peaks at, at four. 4? Okay, so it starts at 2, okay. peaks at 4. Yeah, you'll Sometime. start to see that shadow creep across the moon from 2 a.m. onward if you're up to see it. <laughs> uh, but if you're going like, to get the kids up to you know, take a look, I would suggest right around 4, but okay. that's risky. What if they Good don't want to go back that. to bed? I mean, <laughs> hey, if you love the moon... Got to go uh, out and you know, see that full beaver moon. It, absolutely. And you know, it will be a spectacular sight, but again, keep in mind, it's a long process. And if you don't want to get up, there will be another one coming up in May. So it's not a once in a lifetime process, but uh, it will be an exciting thing to see for sure. It's beautiful out there right now and completely full. Now let's take a look at where we got today. We were in the 70s. It was a very warm day by November standards. And it's the last one of these days we're going to see for quite some time. 72 in Spartanburg, 75 in Greenville and 69 in Asheville. Tomorrow we will not get out of the 50s in most locations. All thanks to a cold front that has moved through. It's clearing out the skies right now and temperatures have already fallen quite a bit. Look at that. 53 in Greenville, 52 for you in Spartanburg. Looking at 39 in Hendersonville and 44 Asheville. So it's chilly, but tomorrow morning, definitely a chilly one to start the day. It's going to be uh, in the 30s and a lot of spots, some 40s. So as you're maybe doing some of that early shopping for Thanksgiving. I know they're saying there are a lot of shortages for things like, you know, the, I noticed that cream cheese, I can't find cream cheese anywhere right now. It's just kind of a thing. There's certain things that are in short supply. Maybe you need to go find the pumpkin pie, some potatoes in your shopping forecast right around 40 degrees at 9 a.m. 51 around your lunch hour if you're heading out to the grocery store to stock up on a few things, 57 at five o'clock. So uh, it'll be breezy sunny but just a good bit cooler and if you're heading to a high school football game tomorrow night be sure to bundle up it is going to get cold quickly temperatures in the upper 40s across the mountains and upper 50s in the upstate it will be a good bit cooler than it was throughout the day today but i'm still giving it a good grade on the sky meter since it's friday no rain in store and you know, it'll be cool but not too far from what you would expect for this time of year so a nine out of ten now we're looking ahead through the weekend, it should stay dry. Sunday morning may have a few extra clouds around, so it won't be the prettiest of days. But Friday, Saturday look fairly sunny. And then here comes our next system. It's going to be approaching on Sunday evening around 9 o'clock, and then we'll be looking at some showers to start your Monday. So a rainy Monday morning. But look at this winter weather. We're going to have some of this snow, sleet, potentially mixed with rain. But that's going to be way up in the mountains. You don't have to worry about that in the upstate. Uh, driving conditions should be just fine. Just a little wet out there. Conditions will clear up as we head into late Monday and then by Tuesday it just stays really chilly. We're not going to have a lot of weather to get in your way for your local travels. So if you're heading to Atlanta to see grandma or over to Nashville, perhaps Columbia, Charleston, weather should look pretty good both Tuesday and Wednesday of Thanksgiving week. And Thanksgiving looks good too. So we're going to luck out uh, just early in the week is just the, the not such nice weather. A 40% chance of rain on Monday in the upstate and about a 60% chance in western North Carolina. Temperatures will be chilly, but then we'll steadily warm up as we get closer to Thanksgiving. Now it's time for your riding forecast. It's sponsored by Harley Davidson of Greenville. You're going to be on the roads. Oh, bundle up. It will be chilly. A freezing start, in fact, on Saturday morning, but the afternoon will bring highs in the low 50s and then upper 50s on Sunday. In the mountains, it's going to be chilly there too. We're getting past peak with that fall color, but it's still beautiful up in the higher terrain. Upper 40s on Saturday and mid 50s on Sunday.